so today it looks like I'm the only crazy one willing to brave the range uh, and that's because I have this the Ruger precision rifle in 308 this is version 1 it has a vortex crossfire 2 on it 6 to 18 I'm actually sighting this in for someone John that'll be you uh, hopefully I can get this thing on paper at 50 yards really quick and then really test it out at 100 yards so I can get out of this cold. Uh, it is about 35 degrees today as well as with a 15 mile per hour crosswind. I will shoot for accuracy in groups to see how it goes. Wow, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is the uh, second time I've got to shoot a Ruger Precision. I do not own one. They've all belonged to someone else. And I can tell you, I'm pretty impressed with these Ruger Precisions. Uh, the bolt on the version one seems to be a little bit more sticky. I think that's why on version two, which I've had the chance to shoot 6.5 Creedmoor version two, of another friend of mine, Daryl, thank you by the way, Daryl, thing is deadly accurate. And it seems like this particular platform, Ruger really has a gem on their hand that it's very, very accurate. So I'm gonna walk down range. I did finally get it zeroed in on target. I'm gonna walk down range and the three shots of 308 with 155s, 40, 44 grains of argot. Seems to be doing the trick at least at 50 yards We'll see here, uh, but let's go at it. Wow, I'm totally impressed. As you can see here, I was tracking the scope. It was kind of all over the place here, here, here. But then I shot these three groups. John, what a rifle. 155 grain Sierra Match King with 44 grains of Varget at 50 yards. Let's ring it out to 100 yards and see how we do. The Ruger Precision Rifle, as you can see, this is a version one. You can see that I'm shooting from a Caldwell rock bench rest. It has a Vortex 6 to 18 Crossfire 2 on it. Decent glass. And again, very impressed. I've had one other opportunity to shoot a Ruger Precision, which was in 6.5 Creedmoor by a really close friend of mine, owned by a really close friend of mine, Daryl. And uh, wow, so far this is my second time and I'm really impressed. Uh, sorry about the noise of my phone there going off. Probably the job. Uh, but we're gonna film this thing, see how it goes. I can't wait to get my 308 suppressor to put on this rifle and give it a try. Again, this is not owned by me, but I'm sure I'll get another try at it.
Uh, keep knocking my Flinched on that one. I think the Ruger Precision likes the lighter bullets, so those groups weren't bad. I think they prefer the lighter bullets, but we'll see. Between groups, 35 degree weather, I'm actually letting the barrel cool down on my watch here for two minutes. Um, before I actually shoot in the next three round group.
Wow. 44 grains of Varget and 178 grain Amax. I just put three shots in one hole at 100 yards. Again, continue to be impressed by the Ruger Precision. Uh, just a fantastic modular platform. Um, with folding stock and all, as you can see here, it's got complete folding stock. This is the version one model. Uh, they tweaked the version one, put a, a metal or aluminum shroud here on the boat versus plastic, still holds the tools. They got rid of the top rail on the hand guards. Uh, a few tweaks came with a muzzle blast between version 1 and version 2 on this precision. Again, not doing a complete review. This is just something I wanted to document right quick to see how it shot compared to the version 2 6.5 Creedmoor that I've shot within the past week or so. One thing I really find amazing outside of the accuracy of this Ruger precision and excuse me today, it's really cold out. My mouth is freezing up a little bit. But the one thing that I really adore is really the lack of recoil as it pertains to this Ruger Precision platform. Uh, of course, it's not as... Um, the 308 has a tad bit more recoil than the 3.5, but not all that much. Just really outstanding... Um, rifle that we have here outstanding john great purchase john great purchase and i want to thank john for allowing me to shoot his ruger precision today but at this point in time i think i'm going to pack up and and go home i've i've had enough of this cold weather for today